So as fate may have it, before I'm even done grieving over goat, there is another six kittens that need our help. Uh, these six were picked up from a local emergency group where they were dropped off, um, just your typical drop off in a box kind of like situation. And fortunately, the emergency group uh, was able to take them in and started treating them for upper respiratory infections. But living in an ER is not ideal. Look at that cute photo they drew. Um, and so they contacted me and I was able to go pick up these six kittens. Now, I was kind of under the impression that upper respiratory was kind of our main focus here, their main issue here, um, and unfortunately that is not the case. These kittens have a long rep sheet of problems, and the first one is the most important, is that they are all littered in ringworm, um, and that is my favorite disease. It's my absolute favorite. You'll see me put on a gown actually here in a minute to cover up my arms after this kitten, but on top of ringworm, we uh, had intestinal parasites. You can see quite a abnormal looking belly there um, that is a belly full of worms and full of coccidia and other nasty intestinal things that these kittens don't need um, and of course on top of the ringworms and the intestinal parasites and the upper respiratory infection which let's also include that they've got some pretty goopy eyes going on um, we also have fleas like absolutely flea ridden when are they not flea ridden they're always flea ridden and these ones had so much flea dirt on them I mean the water's running like this nasty brown color at the very beginning it was disgusting and so we were able to get all six of these kittens bathed up um, and I'm I'm hopeful that they will all come around they're all very nervous and all very scared right now um, no one's really in the greatest of health um, unfortunately some of their exams uh, showed things like heart murmurs mild anemia um, and other things like that that is could potentially be caused by the different parasites and um, stress and everything like that that's happened in the last couple days but so these guys will be watched very closely um, and unfortunately there is one in the group that that isn't videotaped uh, during this process who isn't feeling too great um, and my next video will kind of be going over his situation and where we are with him.